too late. It's Benny. One Piece, Chapter 1092. Spoilers in this video. Let's talk. The robots, cyborgs, whatever you want to call them, have lost their minds. Since Egghead has began, we have been in full Terminator 2 Judgment Day mode. Kuma is tearing up the Holy Land. Kuma is trying to get to a person, place, or thing, and nobody knows why. Kuma is trying to get to the Holy Land. As if SZA is in there, buck naked. I'd destroy the Holy Land, no problem, if SZA was in there. Akainu has finally hopped back in the ring to fight. We haven't seen Akainu in action since Marine Ford. All three admirals that were in Marine Ford are fighting in this arc, which I think is fire. Akainu doesn't waste no time. He immediately does the Hellhound attack on Kuma. We gotta start calling Akainu the Face Snatcher. He took half of Whitebeard's face. He took half of Kuma's face. Kainu is just collecting faces like he's Jeepers Creepers. He tries to turn all his ops into Harvey Dent from Batman. You are not leaving the same after fighting Akainu. Akainu hasn't done shit outside of a desk for 13 years, man. This is his first piece of action post time skip. Only Oda is good enough to get away with this. Praise Oda! So Kuma gets away, right? This is where things get interesting. Akainu is a fleet admiral. He only cares about absolute justice. But seeing how the world nobles talk to Akainu in this chapter makes me think how long this is going to last for him. They hate their job. Aokiji hated his job. Kizaru hates his job and is conflicted about his job. Akainu is next. He is getting to the place where he hates his job. And it's exactly what Garp didn't want to deal with. That's why Garp stayed where he stayed at. The nobles are complaining about lobster and other meaningless shit. And you know Akainu's not trying to hear this shit. Akainu is a servant of the world nobles. Again, something that Garp refused to be. And this chapter kind of highlights that because who wants to put up with this shit all day? Who wants to put up with them all day? They treat Akainu like a little bitch. They basically send Akainu to the store to get Backwoods and Henny. The world nobles don't respect him and they never will. And they definitely don't respect him because under Akainu's watch, the Holy Land has been attacked twice and the people got away. But at some point, Akainu's going to get fed up and it wouldn't shock me. Now, Kuma disappears. Where Kuma is going, my guess would be Egghead Island. Because what other place could he go to in terms of the story? But we shall see. Now, the fight that we've been waiting for. Luffy versus Kizaru. Luffy out the gate is in Snake Man form, which is cool because we don't see Snake Man a lot. You can count on one hand how many times you've seen Snake Man. Kizaru kicks Luffy with this very powerful kick. Bonnie and Frankie try to hop in with attacks, but Kizaru gets up out of that jam. Kizaru goes straight for where Vegapunk is. Kizaru's on demon time to get the mission complete, not wasting no time in destroying Vega Force 1. And out of nowhere, giant Luffy in gear 5 grabs Kizaru like a blunt. Kizaru's face was kind of hilarious. When Luffy grabbed Kizaru, he had the face of someone who heard and seen Sexy Red for the first time. Kizaru knew about gear 5 a little bit too, which was very interesting. Which means there's rumors of what Luffy is or what Luffy is capable of. Now the ancient robot awakens. It awakens because Luffy is in gear five and he can hear Luffy's heartbeat, the drums of liberation. But why didn't the ancient robot wake up when Luffy was in gear five and he was fighting Luchi in the same place? But anywho, who knows? Now it's clear that this ancient robot will help the Straw Hats escape Egghead Island. But there's an obstacle to this. That ancient robot is basically only programmed to wreak havoc on the Holy Land. So I'm wondering if Dr. Vegapunk is going to be able to switch the ancient robot's mission. Basically reprogram it to get everybody to safety and to Elbaf. I don't know, but this chapter was fire. And finally, there's no break next week. Praise order!